What's up, YouTubers? Uh, old Bob here, going to give another introduction to the new players, uh, how to go play the game, generalizations of uh, what the game is, and, and just general, just uh, figuring out what to do, pretty much. Okay, first things first is is basically uh, you're going to have, when you first begin, you have nothing. So you have to actually go to the select a mech, and then go to trial mechs. You're not going to have any mechs to go purchase or do like anything else because you have absolutely nothing. So, but you get loner mechs. Loner mechs are kind of like the Banshee, the Griffin, the Quickdraw, Raven, Spider, Thunderbolt, Trebuchet, and Victor. Now, um, you see it says assault. Assault's like kind of like level four, kind of like the best best one. Depends on your play style. Um, the heavy, then medium, then lights. Lights are fast, quick, and they have kind of like a lot of electronics. Um, the mediums are kind of like the uh, right above lights. They move half. Um, a little bit faster than uh, lights. I'm sorry, a little bit slower than lights. And and then the and then the heavies are kind of like the tanks. The banshees are like the aircraft carrier, like battleships, very much. Uh, you're gonna see that basically that uh, you're gonna see a lot of people love the love assaults because they can take a lot of damage and do a lot of damage. I myself prefer lights because I love to get in, get out, do as much damage as possible, run around, and just don't get shot. <laughs> That's what I love myself. But you're only going to be able to have a trial mechs. Now you can either pick clan trial mechs or inner sphere mechs. So let's let's go for uh, for S and Giggles. Let's go get a dire wolf. Now you're not able to do anything for the dire wolf as far as change change anything. This is a trial mech. This is like you know here's a mech for you to use to get C bills to buy other mechs. Now don't worry about C bills in the future because you're going to get a ton of C bills from playing the game. And I'll show you what, like what that looks like right here. So we got the direwolf, pretty cool looking mech, a lot of cool stuff on it. So, so when you first, when you first do your first match, um, skills. I'm sorry, you go, go home. Let's go home first. Uh, go to achievements. So what happens with achievements is on your first match, when you first start playing, you're gonna get 440, uh, 424,000 like C bills. Second one, 419. Third one. 14 it goes all the way down to 25 matches once 25 matches are gone you're gonna have about like 10 or 15 million C bills to buy anything you want highly recommend you you figure out what type of uh, mechs you want to have or play style like light medium heavy or assault and then go from there and pick out your mechs um, you also get I believe eight different types of uh, um, mech base to put your mechs in if you need more you have to go to the store and purchase them with mech warrior credits, which cost money, it's like 650 for for I think 1200 like mech for 1200 mech warrior credits, and it's basically uh, it rounds out to be about 300 mech warrior credits per mech bay. But you also get them for doing faction combat, which I'll explain later uh, on another video. So the first part, the first part of this video is just going to be generalization. When you first start out, here is what you have. Now, when you pick your mech, we we have the we have the direwolf. Pretty cool looking awesome mech. You're not able to do anything to this mech except for look at it and admire it. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> but uh, you're not able to do like anything. But you kind of figure out like what you have like on the mech. Uh, LBX, LBX AC, you know, left torso, auto cannon 12. This thing's pretty crazy. But it's 110 mech because it's like a beast. But it's fun to play. A lot of people like it. I don't like clan mechs, but that's just me. But I have two clan mechs um, that I love playing. Um, I'm going to buy more, but I'm generally an inner sphere pilot, but hey, but this looks pretty cool for you. So we're going to pick this. Now, when you when you first start, like I said, money's not going to be a problem. After 25 matches, you're going to be running into money. Um, you can go to um, titles and bad uh, titles and badges. You will get these later on to put on your titles and badge when you go ahead and like start doing like um, you start doing stuff. It doesn't really do much because no one really pays attention, so I will not worry, will not worry about it. Um, achievements, like I said, you're going to be getting the lots of bonuses here. So so we picked our mech. All you, all you got to do is go to select a mech, trial mechs, and pick whatever inner sphere or clan mechs. And if you don't know when you're first playing, don't know the kind of like uh, you know the general dynamics of how the game works. The inner sphere are kind of like a, a in a collection of houses that fight each other, and they and basically they have kind of lesser technol lesser technology than the clan mechs. The uh, clan mechs were actually they left the atmosphere about two to three hundred years ago, and now they're coming back, and they have super technology that can dwarf the inner sphere. But the um, um, yeah, so so the plans have a lot better stuff. Just all depends on the pilot too, because I've seen like a dire wolf, I've seen a, like a little inner sphere mech take out a dire wolf. So it just all depends. You got to be a good pilot for that. 
Um, they also have something called Champion and Hero Mechs. Champion and Hero Mechs. Uh, let's, let's go to Own Mechs here. Champion and Hero Mechs are ones that you can you can get. Um, you can purchase these in the store, or you can go. Um, yeah, basically purchase like in the store, and they give like um, they give a C bill bonus, and uh, Champion and Hero Mechs give a C bill bonus. So let's let's pick our Clan Mech first on the Trial Mechs. Let's go here, Dire Wolf. Pick him. You gotta save it. Okay, I think I'm already on it, so yeah, that's why. <clears throat> so every time you actually do a match, you get skills to use on your on your mech itself. The skills are set up like this. Every time, say like this is the the um, the B version of the Dire Wolf. Okay, so every time you use this mech for the trial mech, you're able to go to skills, go to assault. Uh, think it's here because I don't have oh, here we go dire wolf so every time you use it you get these get these things called skill points to use on your dire wolf only the one that you have like the B or I'm gonna give example on one of mine here I'm gonna select a mech let's see own mechs let's go own mechs here inner sphere let's go to locust I like the pirates main up the fun one to do so yeah, okay so we pick that save and I'm gonna go to the skill skill section so every time uh, I use a the pirate's bane, I get skill points, which would be represented by XP of 23,000 extra. Now every time you have these, uh, you get these things called um, basic skills, elite skills, and then master skills. The basic skills are the first ones you have, which are kind of like anchor turn, meaning you turn quicker at 10% turning speed for your mech to run, arm reflex. You, um, you can move your arms around by 15% faster. It helps in the long run. It's not the end all be all, but it definitely helps. It's kind of like irritating when someone has a quick mech and they handbrake and then kinetic burst. It, it increases by 22.5% your acceleration, then you break at 25%. So it, so the variable stop and then and then accelerate like real quick. That means when you're aiming, it's really hard to aim on these guys, especially the quick ones. Once you have three mechs with all the different skills here, you're able to do elite skills, which the speed tweak increases your speed by 10%, pinpoint, conversion speed by 15%, fast fire, increases the cooldown rate by 5%, and the quick ignition, you're able to shut down, um, to go start up and shut down by 33%. And once all three of these are purchased for all three mechs of the same type, so you have to have three locuses, like I have three, I have three locuses. That means all these on top, the basic ones, double. That means your anchor turns down at 20%. Your increased speed is 15%. Tw towards the twist temp is at 20%. Kinetic burst at 44, uh, 45%. Handbrake at 50%. It, it, it's crazy, like these different things. Once you have three mechs with all the elites done, you go to master slot, which increases it, which gives you an additional mech module slot. And I'll go in those later on, basically by how to go do those. So we got our mech. Uh, we're gonna go to Mech Lab, or actually select mech. Let's get a trial mech first. Let's go with the clan mechs. Get a dire wolf. Click that. Okay. So now we got that. You cannot do anything to this mech like I said before. Now there's two things you can do. Like I would highly recommend it. you go to testing grounds, test out how it works, how movement works, and and I'm gonna get in movement on my next video. So and then also weapons as well kind of get an idea of what's going on, how to move it, how, how how your heat works and everything else. Get it used to the mech before you start jumping into battle. Now um, I'm going to go to testing grounds now and go ahead and let you go ahead and uh, go figure that out. I'm going to go ahead and show you now. So uh, just be right back. <laughs> 